Yo, got some heat this week, a little something for your feet. Some of them from the court, some of them for the street. The taste of Nike, Jordan, Adidas, and Under Armour. Plus, we get a little love for Puma and Rihanna. And that's just the start. This is Summer 17. I Actually, I didn't write a last rap line because I forgot. All right, let's start the show. Welcome to the Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade. And let's kick the show off with some sneakers that we literally just found out earlier this week, or very late last week, the Under Armour C1N in the hometown colorway for Cam Newton. And when I say hometown colorway, I basically mean a really bright red. From what I've been able to tell, this isn't a performance shoe, it's a lifestyle shoe. And the Under Armour actually calls it an athlete-inspired shoe, and that it's a collaboration between Cam and the brand. Uh, these are priced really well at $120, and they'll be available starting today over at Finish Line. All right, keeping with the signature footwear vibe, Nike SB dropped the Zoom Dunk High Elite. Now this is, in my opinion, one of the most revolutionary looks at the Nike SB Dunk, and it doesn't hurt that they threw it in that black and royal colorway, a la the Air Jordan 1 Royal. These are priced at $130, and they're available right now. On the collaborative tip, Puma is still killing it when it comes to their women's line, and today they dropped two versions of the Puma Basket Platform Strap. One is black, and the other one is apple cinnamon. Uh, it's almost like they flipped the suede and made it leather, and then they added a strap across it instead of the laces, and these are going to cost you $110, and those are available right now over at Finish Line. If you're focused on running, one of Nike's most recent running shoes, the Nike Zoom Vaporfly 4% released today. The anticipation for this shoe has been pretty high since Nike did the Breaking 2 marketing event and the shoe is finally hitting retail. The, there are actually two different versions of the shoe and this is the more performance oriented or marathon version and those are gonna cost you $250. If basketball is your favorite sport, then there's a really good shoe dropping on Friday. It's the Nike Kyrie 3. Nike basketball has been really great with the colorways for his signature shoe and this one is no different. The main color is Obsidian but Nike actually mixes in a bit of some other colors that really make the shoe pop. I personally like the touches of gold on the swoosh, and then of course there is that gum outsole. Those will cost you 120 over at Finish Line. All right, jumping ahead to Saturday, we have some grade school love with the Nike Air More Up Tempo in the Island Green colorway. From what I understand, Island Green is going to be getting a lot of love this summer, and this is just one of the earlier looks at the shade of green. Uh, those are gonna cost you $130. Keeping with the Saturday vibes, we have a new colorway from Paul George and Nike Basketball on the PG1. This colorway is officially called Blockbuster, and Nike says it's inspired by the magnitude of Paul George's action-packed game, but I kind of feel like it's another game entirely. Based on the colorway, it seems like it's a bit of a PlayStation inspiration, but calling it Blockbuster works just as well. Those will cost you $110 when they drop over on Saturday at Finish Line. Going back to the grade school vibe, Jordan Brand is dropping the Air Jordan 13 in the colorway specifically for the ladies called Mint Foam. As you can see, the upper of these is mostly black with two different materials, but it's the Mint Foam that peeks out from below that really gives these their shine. Again, these are grade school release and they go down to toddler sizes, I believe, and you can grab those over at Finish Line starting at $140. But don't fret, guys, because there's an Air Jordan 13 dropping for you as well this weekend. The shoe's nickname is the Air Jordan 13 History of Flight, and it was actually a sample first before it hit retail. Jordan Brand created the History of Flight collection a few years ago, and people have been clamoring for pairs of the shoes because of the mix of the white and the red. Well, for those that wanted a pair, you can finally get the 13, although it is only the 13 that you can get from the collection uh, and those drop on Saturday those will cost you $190 and you can grab those at finish line as well as with every week, there may be a few other things dropping, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick highlight of the stuff that I thought you were definitely paying attention to. As always, I'm Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and I appreciate you. Make sure you turn on your notifications for this channel, and I'll see you soon. Peace. <laughs>